this is like every entrepreneur's dream, right? To build a business that you don't have to be there, that you're not a slave to. So whether someone is watching or listening right now and they're like, oh, I'm stuck in corporate America. I want to one day be an entrepreneur so I can have you know, control and freedom over my life and be able to take Tuesdays off with my family and go to the park and whatever, um, then this is an amazing you know, testimony to what is possible for those entrepreneurs who are at any stage in the beginning or mature that may be a slave to their business or trying to figure out you know, how do they grow it enough so that they, they can take back control of their life. Um, you know, really th th this conversation can impact, um, you know, any of those people, which is, uh, which is super exciting. And I remember, I remember when you were first starting Ruck, I was first starting the YouTube channel <laughs> and we kind of used to have these like little accountability calls because I remember, cause we had just first moved to Orlando and so it's, it's insane to see what you've built with Ruck. So tell us, tell us a little bit about Ruck, Rise Up Kings, you know, how it works and the, and the work that you're doing with, um, you know, with some of these, uh, with some of these entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll tell you about that. And, and I love, I love living in the realm of, uh, of possibility. So we can, we can live life in, in, in two realms. We can live life uh, based on our past and our previous experiences, right? The, the way the results we've, we've created in the past and the challenges we've had in the past. So we, we, most people judge what's possible in the future based on the past. Mm. So they mm. see it based on the past. And so it traps them because if you're basing your life, your future on what's what, what based on the past, then, then you're not really living in the realm of possibility. So I like to play in the realm of possibility. Like, hey, what's forget the past. What's possible in the future? Like, what is what is possible? Like, what could be created? And so uh, my mind naturally wants to tag back in, well, you've never done that before. Or, hey, based on, you know, the past, that's too much growth. Like, so it wants to pull me back. I have to literally shut my mind off and say, no, 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 no. I want to live in what's possible in the future. You know, what could, what could be possible? Like, let's just play around with that. Mm. And so that's kind of what Ruck, what Ruck is, right? Ruck was like, hey, this idea, hey, I want to go teach uh, business owners and help them scale their companies. Uh, and I want to give them accountability, help them be better fathers, better husbands, better men of faith. I want to go do this. And I've never done this before at that level. I have no clue where I'm going, but I just put it out there. And so dude, I went all out. And so that's another kind of lesson I've learned is like, I'm not a big, I like Gary Vee, but he's like, his style is grind, 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 grind. Right. I'm like, ah, I want to, I want to balance. I want to spend time with my family and connect and I want to grind. Yes. But I, I don't want to, I don't want to just grind my, most of my life, but there are periods where we do got to grind. We do got to put in some significant work, um, and, and go all out on something. And so that's what, that's what I did with Ruck. And so Ruck is, it's pretty cool, man. We have, uh, we have 40 of uh, 39 events planned for this next year for 2023. So we have 39 events on the books from Incredible. marriage retreats to, our three-day intensives, our five-day intensives, our coaches' academy where we, where we train coaches. Like we have all these events. Plus, we have one of the largest Christian-based business masterminds out there that runs and a whole a whole process that's built into that. And so that's kind of what Ruck is. It's a combination of that personal development, like um, Christian-based personal development, and then and then business group coaching and accountability. And we have a whole app that's built. We built an app. We, I mean, yeah, I could spend. 15 minutes describing all the facets of rise up Kings, but I don't want to take the time up for that. I want to, I want to leave some nuggets and leave your listeners, give them some value. Right. But, yeah. but that's, that's what's possible. Right. So right now we have hundreds and hundreds of members. I went from zero to running our first event in uh, January of 2020. That's when we ran our first event. Guess what happened right after that first, first event. <laughs> yeah. There Freaking was not COVID a pandemic. Hit, dude. The world <laughs> shut down. I'm fired up. I'm like, I'm going to go blow this thing up. I do my first event and the world shuts down a month, like a month later. And you were in California <laughs> and they super yeah. shut down in, in California. And so I'm like, okay, well, is this a sign, right? I'm not supposed to be doing rise up Kings. Mm. Like what, what does this mean? And so it's really our ability to, to, to work with challenge with, with challenging situations that kind of plays into how successful we'll be. Right. And so I, I, I said, no, I'm, I'm, 
we paused for seven months, but then I, I felt called to go do this thing. And so we, uh, we launched that first event, and then it's just kind of blown up uh, because I played in the realm of possibility, not based on what I had done previously. If you enjoyed this short clip from the podcast, you can check out another short clip right here. Or if you want to watch the full episode of this podcast, you can watch that here. And remember, knowledge is not power. It's applied knowledge that's power. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.